Okay. You are a Sagittarius, and your moon is also in Sagittarius, and your Pisces rising, so everyone thinks you're really sweet right away. You can use that to your own convenience, like, you could be I'm conniving. Right away, yeah, and people, and you're really chameleon, and you're a chameleon right away when you approach people, and you'll look like a Pisces, you'll look like all the signs, you know, and, um, because that's your face. And then your moon is in Sagittarius, which is your mother, means you traveled around places to make you learn different schools or something. Who knows? Okay, okay if that's true, I don't know. And you have to go on adventures to fill your feelings and stuff, I don't really know. And, and your philosophy. And your Saturn's in Cancer is when your dad was mothering and nursing. He either gave you a home or took it away from you at the same time. Your dad, Cancer, the home. He says so either mothering and nursing. Take it away. So he could give you a house and take it away. That's take the lessons away. to learn. Take it away. And maybe you had lessons still about having just a home and a family. Like a family, it can be given to you and taken away from you. I got a family still. And you're going to struggle with it might be taken away. The comfort of your own zone yes, at your home. I, the comfort of my own home is, has been taken away. Jeopardy. Yeah. It's yeah, the Saturn of Cancers is your relationship with the home and the family and the mother, but your father and your mother could take, you know, but your dad was mother and nursing because Saturn. Away from me too. Yeah. Okay. That is true. And so you had to travel too. And um, your Jupiter's in Aquarius, which you're lucky with astrology, like right epping now. <laughs> if you aim at anything with the astrology, you'll be lucky with it. The knowledge of it. And the knowledge of Aquarius, the unique one, the yeah, friendship one, the person who can treat everyone equally and be like this alien retarded bitch, you know, and the egotistical maniac. Right. And it'll be like, you'll be lucky with an ego and a know-it-all kind of thing. You know, everyone can be. And then <laughs> you, okay, and you'll be lucky with social media and stuff like that. If you aim at it, you know, you just have to put effort into it. You'll have it. All this personal. Rosalis is in Capricorn. People, people don't want to see you get a career or uh, be in someone's reputation, but you do of it anyways. And you'll be proud of it. Yeah. And you, you're your own like father figure, discipline person in career. Exactly. exactly. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. And um, that is right. And your your discipline is like, oh, your ace is in Libra. So when you're weird, people think you're just normal. That you're not. You're not gonna be like, oh, you're just a weirdo. There's yeah, you, 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 people that just know me though. And you're right. right. <laughs> and um, your Mars is in Aries, which means you're you're not a lazy bitch. And you when you get mad, you have a quick temper. You just want to get it over with. Yes, it is. And then um, explode and express yourself, and then you get back to being a uh, normal person. Heart, and you just want heart and matter. Yes, but you're still forgiving, it. like you just wanted to explode and let someone see it because you can't help it. And um, it's this expression. Yeah, you you want to get to the heart of the matter. You want to get to the point. You want to, and then you go, and then you go like through um, tunnel vision, like you do it's now or never kind of thing. And it's like you you know how to live in the moment. And make other people live in the moment too, because it's now and ever in the That's in the moment. Like. And it's about your identity. Like, yes. And um, yeah. is Mars and is there sexual expression? So you have to go to quickies, and um, <laughs> you could yeah. be selfish during sex because you only do it once, and people might expect more. Maybe if it's in a different house, it could be more. Okay. But um, let's see what that is. Plus, okay, okay, your Mars is in the, your you first house. Everyone sees your angle right away. When you when you come off as an Aries, that's why you look like an Aries too. But you look like a Pisces, all the time. Yes, you can. Gotcha. And your Venus is in um, the. Okay, your life purpose is the career. Okay, that's cool. Okay, um, let's see. One X eight nine. The ninth house. Maybe your dad, your mother was too preachy and had a philosophy, and she didn't change it. And she was teaching you about like the Lord and bullshit in her yeah. own head, like mm -hmm. the only one, only according to her own head. Okay, and your eleventh house is um, you like friends to be your uh, <coughs> your relationships with more of your friends, and you become very uh, bossy, and uh, you want them to work with you because it's in Capricorn. Your eleventh house, I do want them to work to be all your friends be working at work with you. Consider them as friends. I just consider them as acquaintances. Work related friends, or something. I don't know. And then your 12th house in the Aquarius. I don't know. Um, your purpose is to have a career, and and you can be a guru, and you're lucky with being very well known. Your fourth house is in Gemini, so you have a two-faced mom, and you become a two-faced person. You're like a gossipy around neighborhoods. Neighborhoods is where your home really is. Your neighbors are your home. Well, yes, That's your no, family. I really don't. Yeah, the community <laughs> is your family. You have samples of other people that find your own comfort zone in your own home. Like is the community of your own I neighbors you and your siblings too, and maybe and maybe your siblings and writing books or stories or some bullshit. And your your knowledge for information, and um, you will be well known as a guru type person, and be well known just like with luck, like you could be famous with this place in ten thousand such areas. You could be, and then yeah, but at home you're like. Dad has actually said the right thing about me. It's always the I'm gonna have to go because I'm at the door. Okay. Shut the door on me. I can't do that. Okay. I got dropped off over here. Like I 
Groovy. Okay. Groovy. Um, cool. Groovy. Okay, cool. Uh, your Saturn, your life lessons, your problems are um, in this house right here real quick. Um, Which house is that? The, the fourth house, actually. Okay. The, the home. Okay. And gotcha. with your neighbors and all this gossip and this shit. Gotcha. And, okay, well, toodles. Okay. Thank you ever so kindly.